Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is on Capitol Hill for a second day of testimony, and today a representative asks him why an advertisement from a Catholic college depicting Jesus on the cross was rejected for being excessively violent. Could you tell me what was so shocking, sensational, or excessively violent about the ad to cause it to be initially censored? Congresswoman, it sounds like we made a mistake there. I apologize for that. And Zuckerberg, ad Zuckerberg adds, quote, I wouldn't extrapolate from a few examples that the overall system is biased. Joining me now is Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation. Hans, this has been the worst privacy debacle to date. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg says regulation of the social media industry as a whole is inevitable. What could that look like? Well, it could look uh, like the uh, uh, members of Congress putting together some kind of bill that comes up with privacy rules. But I'm not quite sure uh, we should go that route uh, uh, first and so quickly because, you know, what, what could happen is Facebook and others could simply come up with what their rules are for the privacy rights of people who use Facebook, post it so everyone knows about it, and then stick to the rules. I'm not quite sure we're at the point where we need government regulation. Much of the focus has been on using people's personal data during presidential right. election, but Facebook data was also very helpful to President Obama's reelection. What role will or can Facebook play in the upcoming midterm elections post these hearings? Well, see, all, all of that depends on what the rules are at Facebook on the use of their data, and that seems pretty unclear. What we do know is that the Obama campaign was the first campaign back in 2012 to basically uh, mine data out of Facebook, which they then used to target what they called persuadables, individuals they thought could be persuaded to uh, vote for their particular candidate. The Trump campaign did the same thing, but with regard to that data, uh, Facebook actually went to the company, Cambridge Analytica, which had the data and said, you're not allowed to use it this way. You have to destroy the data. So one thing I think our audience would be very interested in is yesterday's testimony. Senator Ted Cruz raised the issue of what he called Facebook's pervasive pattern of bias and political censorship. Let's play that exchange. Are you aware of any ad or page that has been taken down from Planned Parenthood? Senator... I'm, I'm not. He said Facebook blocked more than two dozen Catholic pages. Can Facebook users be confident that conservative and Christian views are not discriminated against again? Uh, no, I don't think they can, particularly when, when uh, Senator Cruz asked him this question. Uh, not only did Zuckerberg say that he wasn't aware of any liberal uh, content that had been dropped, un unlike uh, uh, all of the conservative content, including Catholic pages, but he seemed to give an excuse of, well, we're headquartered in Silicon Valley, which is a very liberal area, as if that was justification for what Facebook was doing. I wish we had more time to talk about this. Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation. I'm sure we'll be talking about Facebook privacy for a long time. I'm sure we will.